I'm going to show you how to back up your computer to Microsoft OneDrive free of charge with just a few clicks. In a world full of ransomware attacks, people losing their laptop on the train or breaking them, it's more important than ever to back up your data. And you can do just that using Microsoft OneDrive. Now, if you've got a paid personal or business account, then you get a whopping one terabyte of data included. But if you don't have one, you can sign up to a Microsoft account for free and still get five gigabytes of data. Before we get started, can you do me one quick favor and just hit that subscribe button? It really helps our channel. Okay, so first thing I'll point out is that when you back up your data to Microsoft OneDrive, it uses something called versioning. It will keep unlimited versions of your files and that helps protect you against something like a ransomware attack. Because if you do have a ransomware attack and it impacts your files, OneDrive can detect it and you can roll back to a previous version of your files. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the OneDrive app is installed on your computer. You can search here and type OneDrive and look for the OneDrive app. If you click on that, that will launch the OneDrive app. So in this case, you can see I do have it installed on my computer and I can also see the little OneDrive icon running in the task tray. Now Microsoft OneDrive will install automatically when you install Microsoft 365. But if you're not using Microsoft 365, you can download the OneDrive app and I'll quickly show you how to do that. In your browser, if you just go to Google and search OneDrive download, and that will bring you to a page where you can download the OneDrive app for PC, Mac, or Android. And on this page, you can press download OneDrive and that will download the OneDrive installation file. I can see in the top right that it's downloading and when that's finished running, all you need to do is double click on it and follow the installation wizard through. There's really no options that you need to select during install. And once that's done, or if you already had it installed, you just need to click on the OneDrive icon in the bottom right. And you can see in my case, I've got two OneDrive icons, and that's because I've got two OneDrive accounts on my computer. So you can see one of them is actually asking me to re-enter my credentials to continue syncing, and the other one is currently up to date. So you need to make sure you select the right OneDrive account because you don't want your data going to the wrong place. So let's click on that icon and click on the settings cog in the top right and then click on settings. Now I can see here in the bottom left that I am using 171 gigabytes of my one terabyte allowance and that's because I've got a paid Microsoft 365 business account so I get a whole one terabyte included. As I said earlier, you'll get the same on a personal account but if you don't have a paid personal account, you can get a free account uh, and it's five gigabytes that you get with that one. Now in the top left, if we click sync and backup, and here is a section that says backup important PC folders to OneDrive. Before we do that, let's just have a look at the preferences. You want to make sure that OneDrive will start automatically when you sign into Windows. So make sure that's toggled on because otherwise you'll have to remember to manually start OneDrive and your data will not get backed up automatically. So let's click on manage backup. And that's just trying to work out how big my data is. So I can see here we've got about 700 gigabytes of data altogether. So I've got just about enough storage left in my OneDrive account to back up everything. So if I wanted to back up everything, I can toggle all of these on. And you do just need to consider whether you do need to back up all of this. And it's going to be worth doing a bit of housekeeping first. Delete any old data that you don't need. because You don't want old rubbish files getting uploaded unnecessarily to OneDrive and using up your space. When you're done, you just need to hit save change and that will start backing up. Now you do just need to consider the fact that if you are backing up a lot of data, it could take a while to upload and it might slow down your internet depending on what type of connectivity you've got while it's uploading. But once it's finished that initial upload, the only backup that's going to take place is files that change. It's going to back them up immediately to OneDrive when they change. I hope you found that useful and if you did, please hit the subscribe button.